Okay, so here is um, what used to be a skein of white yarn. It's obviously not now. And I'm going to put it in a plastic bag to keep it from rolling around because this is not coming out through the center. Um, I put it around my arm here and I'm going to take the end of the yarn and I want to leave by trial and error of the last one. Well first I'm going to wind it around here twice, twice clockwise gets it through that um, little yarn guide. And now uh, I'm going to leave oh about three or four inches of yarn um, for the tail and this is going to be what comes up through the middle. This is going to be what I want to start with. So they leave a little groove in there to set that in. It's not the best groove. It needs to be a little deeper. I may take a file and fix that. Um, and so now what I found works best here is to go slowly for one thing. And for another thing, if you notice my left hand, which I put a glove on because I don't like the feeling of that yarn running through my hands. It's like pulling on a rope. Um, if I keep it at a right angle with the uh, yarn that's going from the spool to the yarn guide um, and that keeps a little bit of tension on it, not too much, just enough to keep a little bit of tension and uh, turn the knob slowly uh, at first just until you get it set up and then you can go a little bit faster. If you go too fast sometimes it throws that uh, yarn that you have up in the top that comes out the middle um, off the spool so that doesn't work very well. So I like to go kind of slow at first. And so this is after, oh, just a few minutes of, of twisting. Uh, I don't have scissors with me so I'm using my fingernail clippers to cut that. And I'm going to pull that yarn through the, the little eyelet holder thingy yarn guide and find a way to tuck it in. This is going to be the other end of the yarn. Um, you can you can actually work from either end. I prefer working from the middle so it doesn't roll around. And here I am just trying to tuck it in there. I've only used this once today. This is the second time. Well, once uh, I received it today. So I'm trying to tuck it in and I'm sure I'll get better at this part of it. And so now I'm just going to pull it off put my hands on the outside, my thumbs that push on that little middle thing. Don't lose your center yarn. I did that once and I had to redo it. Um, and there, that's a little bit longer. I gotta figure, tuck that in better. This is a part I have to get a little bit better at, um, but you get the idea. Just wrap it there and tuck it in somewhere. And don't lose your center yarn. Um, I got this from Joann's with a 50% coupon. They usually have one on their home page. Uh, got it for about $17. You can see it's clamped there to my keyboard tray. Uh, it seems to work very well because the keyboard tray is just about the right thickness. Um, and there is my center yarn. I'm making my little uh, loop. I like to have a little knot there so I can tell which end. When I get to the end there, I can tell which end is the starting end. And I'm going to put it in a plastic bag just to keep it in there. Uh, so it, if it comes unwound, I'm not real sure. It feels kind of tight, kind of sturdy, but I just want to make sure. So I'm keeping them in little plastic bags. And there's my white yarn. So this is uh, using another skein of yarn. This one is a little thicker, a little bulkier. And you can see, actually I did find the center on this one. And so I'm uh, using the Nifty Knitters, so I have to have two skeins of yarn at once. Rather than buying two, I don't need to, I'm only making a hat. I'm simply using this to make another ball. And that's really what I bought this for when I need to use two at a time. And I really just don't need to buy two skeins of yarn. So uh, again, through the guide, 90 degree angle, turning the, uh, the handle, and I'm doing a little bit faster now because it's on there um, and you can just see I'm making this little ball or cake a lot uh, bigger than I did the last one for one thing it's a bulkier yarn and I wanted to see just how big I could make it and I didn't want to go much bigger than this so I went ahead and cut it here uh, and again this is a, a sturdy solid ball of yarn again I'm 
tucking in that other end that I just cut off. And I will get better at this part, I hope. I'm really enjoying this. Um, and put your thumbs on the center and you're going to make a square knot on the loop coming out of the center, at least I do, so I can find it easier. Put my hands around the outside of the ball, put my thumbs on the spool and push and lift it up just right and there it is. That is a nice sturdy firm ball of yarn.